What's up guys? So, as you can see from the background, I'm sitting in the shop in a vehicle that uh, I probably jumped the gun on getting, but uh, I got it. So, check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so for some of you Honda lovers, you could probably tell what I'm sitting in here now. Um, did a video, a couple videos ago, you know, for the Flip Series. You know, obviously you guys know I got a bunch of cars. Got the Volvo, I haven't got a chance to work on yet. Got the Pontiac G6, if you guys caught that video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, wanted to do it as, you know, the cash we had from the Flip Series, we're gonna put those towards those cars, kind of flip up, until we found a car that I wanted, which would, which was a Honda, was pretty much the car we're sitting in. But uh, you know, before I even had a chance to, you know, get around to the, finishing up the holidays, to get around to getting those cars in to get it taken care of, actually, one of my subs reached out to me and uh, had the exact car I was pretty much looking for. Um, needed some work. This car definitely, uh, Definitely needs some work. I, I definitely could say that um, it's going to keep me busy for a while. It's going to be some great content on the channel, and we still are going to use the money towards the Volvo we make on the Volvo and the Pontiac Flip to put into this car like I originally wanted to do as opposed to just paying for it. Now, I didn't pay for this car. Well, I, I paid for it, but we more or less bartered and did a trade on some rims I had got for them. I'll show you, show you guys what they looked like here. So here's the rims. I picked up for them some 18 inch moto metal he wanted the offset I think I got these in uh, negative 28 offset and then I got some nice tires for him uh, the light truck 275 65 18s so I think he's gonna dig them but those are the rims he got he wanted for uh He's got a 2007 Colorado, you know, after talking to him with him, what kind of rims that he'd like, all that, what kind of tires he was going for and all that, that's what he ended up with. You know, I did tell him he's going to have to lift the Colorado, you know, he's going to have to do a few things on his end. They ended up, you know, he came to the shop, brought the car here, we had the deal go down, I offered to put the tires on, I even gave him the TPMS sensors that I had in stock for his car, I was going to program for him, but the tires just didn't fit you know if you put those things on there without a lift kit and you know modifying what you have to modify to fit a big tire like that you know he's just going to tear up the tire so you know he lives he lives north of me so it's not like he lives super far i told him you know get everything together get the spacers or whatever lift kit you'd like bring back to the shop and i told him i'd take care of him turn a subscriber into a customer have the deal go down he's happy i'm happy i got the car i wanted um but like i said guys i'm gonna get out of this thing i want to show you what this thing looks like you know, for what it is, everything that I want to be here is here, you know, as opposed to a couple extras that I could do without and all that stuff. But I think this is going to be a great one as far as the things I want to do, the build on the channel, you know, where I want to go and what I want to do with this thing because I miss my old Civic. I really do. Um, you know, you guys out there, don't take me for a Honda guy. I really dig these cars. These Hondas, I mean, you could beat the crap out of them. They just keep on going. So... I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe ask you guys, you know, where should we go with this? Maybe turbo. You know, definitely have a lot. This car's got a lot of Bondo on it. It's got a lot of stuff that, you know, someone had done to it. I don't know why, but, you know, there's a lot of good to you. So I'll take the good with the bad. Good trade. Like I said, he's happy. I'm happy. We got some great content coming up for it. I'm probably going to park, keep this thing in the shop, park it into a bay, and it ain't going to move until we strip this thing apart and, uh, find out what we're going to actually do with it and get some stuff ordered and get the stuff rolling ASAP probably even before we start fixing on all those other cars but I want to get that Volvo in first get that taken care of I want to get that Pontiac taken care of get those sold so we have some money for this build here but uh let me get out of this thing we'll do a walk around show you some inside show you what it is and all that stuff if you guys are interested hang tight guys so I figure since we're in it we'll start off with the interior you can see I always catch them with low mileage, and if that's correct, that's not bad in my eyes for a 2000 Honda Civic Si. This thing is a true EM1. I did check the VIN, but it's got some pods in there. I don't think any of these are hooked up. He's got this uh, 
wrap around rear view mirror. I uh, don't know if I'm a fan of it. Probably be able to get rid of that and uh, you know find the visors and all that stuff. Sunroof obviously doesn't work, but it's got the nice seats. You know, no rips, tears, burn holes. You know, the stuff that I look for. You know, headliner's not all jacked up and tore up and all that stuff. Dashboard looks pretty good. I had peeled a couple stickers off of it. They're actually sitting on the floor right there. But everything's here. You know, outside of the little vents here, nothing to worry about there. But passenger door looks pretty good. This driver door, definitely seen better days. Looks like, uh, you know, they're leaning on it. But we'll do some videos to show you guys how to fix that. But definitely savable. But let's get out of here. This thing is stick. He said it had a short shifter in it. I don't see it. It definitely has a shifter in it. Being a short shifter, I'm not really sure. E-brake definitely works. The heat works, I checked. Radio is kind of wonky. Probably end up getting a different radio for it. Got some button here, too. Probably the nitrous button. Uh, but here's the outside of this thing, though. Let me back up. There it is. Obviously, it's not the stock blue anymore. I think this thing was orange at one time and now black. Um, but like I said, as far as the body work goes, this thing's definitely going to need some work. You could see they bonded over the gutters on the top. They shaved the antenna, which, you know, at first glance doesn't look so bad. But then, you, you know, you get back here. Obviously, thick mono is never going to hold up. You know, it's starting to store water underneath the window trim. We'll have to get that taken care of. Some decent pinstripe, decent design on it for what it is. He's got these, uh, you know, teal colored rims with the spacers in the back. Don't know if I'm going to keep those. Bumper looks good. No cracks or anything like that. Kind of looks like they had rattle canned it, but it's got that blacked out look. You guys know, you know, I'm definitely into uh, the blacked out look. Every car I own is black and it'll probably stay that way forever. But you can see this side's even worse as far as the, the channel goes. You know, a bunch of Bondo here. I can't wait to see what's underneath that all the way through. And then this door, you can see they had shaved the handles off. So I'll probably end up, you know, sticking with that. I'll probably just, you know, fix that, repair that. If there's anything left of this door, definitely a lot of rust in there. And the Bondo is super thick. So that's definitely going to be some work in itself. It carries on back here too. Definitely some Bondo here. This is probably a dent, it looks like, but only time will tell. We'll strip this thing down and see. Got the, got the fender roll in the back there for the tires. Like I said, guys, definitely a lot of good, but definitely, definitely a lot of work. Here's some more rust over the window. I don't know if you guys are catching that on that angle. A little dent there we'll have to work out. Looks like he got locked out a few times. Had to pick the lock open and ruin the trim. Mirrors are on, mirrors are good. It's got the uh, you know, plastic hood or whatever this is. I'm not even sure if this is fiberglass. Not sure if I'm gonna stick with the hood or not. Came with the pins, I had taken the pins out. Front bumper definitely looks good, but does need some work. Missing the SI badge right there. It does have the motor in it that I like. The B16, get this hood going doesn't have a hood prop so kind of just set it up it's a super light hood so it doesn't matter but yeah it looks like looks like plastic and fiberglass for sure the hood is so that's super light not sure if I'm gonna keep that but this is where a lot of the work's gonna be at too definitely needs a wire tuck some cleaning up oh my goodness I get overwhelmed just looking at it here guys but I think this is gonna be some pretty cool stuff pretty cool content definitely stuff I'm into you know, definitely some tips and tricks I can tell you guys, you know, things I've done to my last one and just, you know, getting these engine bays looking right through my experience. You could put out there with some good content. Looks like he did some nightshade on the headlights. You never want to do that, guys. The heat, it never lasts. The heat from the headlight, whether you have LEDs in there or condensing, it's, it, it, never, it never holds up. It always tends to dry rot and crack from the heat and all that stuff, especially the cold weather we get here in Chicago. So new headlights, definitely new paint, definitely body work. Looking at some rims, but there it is.
So you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, stuff, stuff tends to just fall in my lap. You know, I, I can't believe that the channel has gotten this big where, you know, I put out a video on a car that I may be looking for or something like that. And, you know, you not only watch the video, support your channel, but, you know, you take the time to reach out to me, you know, to tell me you got things like this. You know, I, I never thought the channel would grow past a couple thousand subscribers, but here we are, over 10,000 subscribers, pushing out content, making moves, you know, doing, doing the things I like to do, doing the things, you know, I hope you guys like to watch, you know, get in where it can. You know, this is definitely, I'm humbled, things fall into my lap in the craziest ways. I mean, karma comes around, you know, if you don't believe in karma, you think twice, because, you know, you do good things for people, and good things happen to you. I'm definitely a firm believer of that. And you know, this car falling to my lap like the way it did, you know, I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's a coincidence, you know, and I thank all my subscribers, you know, leaving comments, liking, sharing, subscribing, you know, it, it, it means a lot to me. You know, it may not mean a lot to you, you know, sitting there watching a video, what have you. I hope you guys get advice out of my videos. I hope you guys watch my videos for why I put them out and all that stuff. Definitely a big one on helping techs, you know, getting, getting my opinion out on things, sharing my experience with you guys, you know, whether it's, you know, aspiring shop owners, young mechanics, things like that, doing car builds of your own, things like that. It, I do the videos for you guys. You know, I, I say that, I say that in my videos because I truly mean it, but this one's going to be a fun one, guys. You guys go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you're into Hondas, you're into Hondas. If not, you know, I personally am. I think this is definitely going to be a fun one. It's going to be a great car for the collection. It's one of those cars that I had one, I sold it, I really regretted it, but I got one back now and we're gonna try to make this one better than the last one. So you guys stay tuned for the ride. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.